So, if you've been looking for a way to create consistent images for your projects, maybe you have an African folktale story channel or whatever project that you want to use it for, then this video is for you because I'm going to be showing you an easy free way to create consistent images just like the ones that you're seeing on your screen right now. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. Now, to get started, there are two things you need to put in place. Number one is your base prompt. Now, the base prompt is simply the prompt that will never change throughout the process. There are so many ways you can generate this base prompt. You can write it yourself or you can use ChatGPT or you can use a special AI tool, which I'm going to be showing you in this video. Now, if you have the base prompt, the next thing you need to have is the character. That is the character that you're going to be using for your project. Now, for the base prompt, let's say you don't know how to write the prompt. You don't know how to describe the person you want to create. Now, what you're going to do is to come over to your browser and visit astica.ai. Don't worry about the link. I'm going to be leaving it in the description so that you can go ahead and try it out and see how it works. So now that it has opened, you can see that it looks amazing and it makes you feel like you're a tech genius, right? So here um, you can see describe images. So what this platform does is that it's going to describe your images for you. And then you can use the description it gave you to build your base prompt. Now, all you have to do is to come over here and click on upload image. And then you're going to select your model image. That is the image that you want the platform to describe so that I can use it for your base prompt. So if I come over here, I click on choose file and then you select the picture that you want to use. Now it's asking us to register for a free account. So we're going to click on register for free and then we're going to put in our name. So let's go ahead and fill in this. Then you go ahead and check this and then click on create account. So now it's asking us to verify our email and all you have to do is to go over to your email accounts like so and copy the code and then come here and put in the code okay so you click on verify email and it's going to go ahead and verify the email you can see verification successful and now you can see that it has uploaded you can see it right here and the next thing i'm going to do is to click on analyze image so here you can see processing image please allow up to 30 seconds so it's going to process the image and describe the image for us so we don't have to start putting all the details ourselves. Now, how cool is this? A few moments later. So here you can see that it's processing the image and it has given us a lot of details already. You can see female age 22. This AI is super cool. A young woman with long brown hair is standing in front of a drum at a festival. She is wearing a vibrant, colorful dress, has a variety of bracelets on her left arm. Let's confirm that amazing so here you can see it has described our image for us and it's so so amazing you can see bracelets you can see the age facial recognition female age 22 and a woman in a colorful dress standing in front of a drum and this is exactly the prompt that i used to achieve this picture to create this picture this is not a real picture this is ai generated picture right so here you can see um the full description of this picture, this is what you're going to be using. So here you can see additional captions, a woman arm with a variety of bracelets, a woman's face with large hoop earrings, a woman with a black choke and black choker. So here you can see, yeah. So you can see that it's accurate. Why I love using this AI is that it gives me a direction that I can use to explain what I want right? So all I need to do is just tweak it a little bit and then I'm good to go. So that is why I wanted to show you how to use this so that in case you run into a situation where you cannot describe what you want exactly, you can just get a similar picture, put it on this platform, and then it's going to describe it for you. And then you're going to take the description to generate the base prompt that you're going to be using to generate your consistent images. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So all we have to do now is copy this text. I'm going to come over to my Google Docs and paste it here like so. So now we have that description. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to generate the base prompt and I'm going to show you what I came up with. A few moments later. So now I've written the base prompt and you can see what I have here. Create a realistic, consistent, wide shot portrait of a beautiful, light-skinned, 22-year-old African girl with charming blue eyes and an all back weaved hairstyle. Now, don't worry about this prompt. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get this prompt. Everything, all the documents that I've prepared for this, you can get it 
and then use that to build your own. Now, this is one way to get this base prompt. Another way you can get this base prompt is by making it all simple. And to do that, all you have to do is to make sure you have a name give the character a name so here you can see sandra girl 22 years old with low cut wears an african attire so i can decide to add more details here so let's just add something here to just add more details to it so i'm going to go ahead and write with an african style hairband wears an african attire so here you can now add the action you want it to take so you can say standing in front of a hot happy okay so now let me break it down for you now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you give the character a name and that is this sandra right and then you're going to give the character a gender and that is this girl that i chose here and then you're going to give the character an age that is to 22 years old and then you're going to now describe how you want the character to look the hair the clothes and all that and here you can see i added with a low cut hair packed with an african styled hair band okay and then the next thing is where's an african attire so in all the picture that the ai is going to generate is going to continually wear african attire you can simply alter this to fit into the project that you're using it for right so here you can see an additional prompt standing in front of a hot happy now this is an action okay this one is not part of the base prompt now this is the one that is the base prompt from sandra sandra girl 22 years old with low cut hair packed with an african styled hairband wears an african attire now this is the base prompt it will never change now in all the pictures that i'm going to be generating for this project i'll keep using it then the only thing i'll be changing from time to time i'm going to show you how to do that is to change the action standing in front of a hot happy okay i'm going to keep changing this over and over and over and over again now another way to generate a base prompt is by using chat gpt i've already covered this in my previous video i'm going to be leaving the link in the description or you can click here to watch it after watching this video of course since i have that video there's no point repeating it again because i don't want this video to be longer than it's supposed to be so now that we have this let's go ahead and try this out and see if it's going to work out trust me it's going to work out let me show you how to use it so all i have to do now is to copy this prompt here you're going to go ahead and type in bing image creator okay so once it opens the next thing you're going to do is to click on any of the link the first link preferably now the next thing you're going to do is to click on join and create now there's a lot of people that are complaining that they can't create a bing account and that is a real issue so i want to show you exactly how you're going to create that so please pay attention so now the next thing you're going to do once you get here the next thing you're going to do is to click on create one no account create one so you click on create one and then here you're going to put in your email address so i'll go ahead and put my email address like so okay so now that i've put my email address i'm going to go ahead and click next and then you're going to select your first name i'm just going to go ahead and say seven figure boss academy okay like so and i'm going to click on next and then here you're going to select your country or your region and then you select your birth month and then you select the day and then you select year and after that you click on next all right so here you can see that a code has been sent to my email address so i'm just going to go ahead and bring out the code okay let's bring out the code like this and put in the code it's four three it's zero three three nine okay so this is the code you can decide to check this or leave it unchecked whichever one is totally fine and you can see how easy it is to create an account click on next make sure that you follow exactly what i'm going to be showing you here now it simply says use the arrow to rotate the object to face in the direction of the hand so this is the face of this object and this is where the hand is facing so all we have to do is to turn the image to face the direction of the hand make sure you get it correctly okay so you can see that is faced on 10 o'clock 10 o'clock like this and then this one is on 10 o'clock too so we're going to click on next and then you are going to repeat the same thing five times so here i'm going to face this hammer 
like that. So it's on one o'clock. So we are going to face it like so. And then we're going to go ahead and click on submit. And then go ahead and repeat the same thing five times and you're good to go. A few moments later. So voila, you can see verification complete. You've proven you are a human continue your action so now all we have to do next is to paste in our prompt like so and then we're going to go ahead and click on create a few moments later all right you can see that it has created the image for us let's go ahead and preview it and see how it looks and then we're going to go over again so here you can see the image take note of the image right so let's close it and then the next thing you're going to do is to change the action remember the base prompt and the action prompt okay so we're going to go ahead and change the action prompt so you can see standing in front of a hot happy okay so now we are going to say standing in front of a hot lost in thoughts okay let's just add that lost in thoughts all right so now we have that i'm going to go ahead and click on create so everything remains the same and you just change the action prompt super easy right so here you can see it has generated the image for us and it's just about the same girl it will not get it 100 percent like this one is looking a little bit different if you want to argue it but this one is accurate this one is accurate you can see the face just look at the face let me go ahead and open the other one okay let me go ahead and open this one and you can see the face of this one now how cool is this if you have not liked this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see it and benefit from it and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel you know what to do go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification so that you get notified whenever i upload amazing videos like this because i always do right so here you can see it has generated accurate 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 consistent pictures images for me you can see this is looking so amazing so the next thing you're going to do is to go continue changing the action prompt okay just go ahead continue changing the action prompt that's all you need to do so now i'm going to say standing in front of a village market and you click on create and it's going to go ahead and generate similar picture but in a different location for us how cool is this <laughs> all right you can see it generated similar picture again and you can see this is very consistent as you can see the face is the same thing with the first one and if we come here to compare as well you can see that it's the same thing with this one as well now how cool is this now if you're interested in the prompt that i use let me know in the comment section and i'm going to go ahead and send it to you and i put together this playlist for you if you want to learn more about african folktale channel and how you can start how you can run how you can become successful i put together this playlist go ahead and watch it to learn everything that you need to know about african folktale channel so go ahead and watch it and thank me later see you on the other side ciao